So now what I'm going to do is um, replace the fork coil in um, the front torques and um, I've been using 20 grade fork oil now I know from old that um, the um, manufacturer recommended TQF in the front forks uh, automatic transmission fluid um, which uh, as far as I recall is um, has a viscosity of SA20 so um, I find the uh, the I find the forks quite stiff uh, or stiff um, it's the wrong word really I find the damping quite hard um, so what I'm going to do is experiment by putting some um, SA15 as I say I put 20 in um, when um, when I originally assembled the bike and I find that a little bit hard so we'll give it a go with um, some 15 it says on the fork cap 210 cc's I read in the Haynes manual it says 190. I've got a genuine manual here. We'll have a look at that, see what that says. So that first cap I took off was um, just the cap that secures the instruments there's an inner cap that needs to be undone which is um, secured with a 7 16 allen key Just using some slip joint pliers to take the plug out, which will probably pop up under spring pressure. So I'm just going to place a screwdriver on the cap to stop it flying up in the air, hopefully. It's under spring pressure, it shouldn't be under spring pressure. Too much spring pressure, anyway, there we go, it's under a bit of spring pressure. I might need to lift the handlebars up.
these um, handle bar mounts if you've, if you've kept if you have a bike with uh, that's kept the rubber mountings which I have um, they wiggle around rather alarmingly when they're fitted up correctly um, but they don't come apart some people don't like them and you can actually set them if you've got a screen on the handle if you've got a handlebar screen on you can change the way the mountings are to um, mount the handlebar solidly and you don't have to uh, have a screen on to do that of course so if you feel like that's what you need to do now you need to drain the take the drain plug out drain for a while. Well this is interesting I've just been looking in the genuine Triumph workshop manual factory manual for the amount of fork oil um, it says in all cases it says SA20 for the early Trident, the T150 Trident, it says 190 cc's. For the 73 model, no, sorry, for the 71 model year, well, I can't remember which, but anyway, one of the later model years, it says um, 230 cc's per fork leg. And on my fork cap nuts, as you can see, hopefully it says 210cc. So I think I'm probably going to go with 210cc. Um, and I'm going to um, put some slightly, I'm going to mix some SA10 fork oil and some SA20 fork oil in equal quantities in the assumption that I will then get SA15 just to make the damping a little softer because it feels really hard to me so yeah I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go with 210 cc so first off we'll put a hundred of SA10 Uh, this is my cocktail of SA10 and SA20 fork oil.
tighten that fully when I let the ramp down to the other side now. Yep. Drain. It's off camera, I know, but I'm just undoing the drain plug. Right, I put the plug back in the bottom of the fork, and I'm just going to fill up with a mixture of the two fork oils again. That's that. Cap back on. Hopefully. Okay. Get this So I'm just tightening up the handlebar mountings now. Just trying to dent the petrol tank at the same time. Okay, that's that done. So, fork. Okay. 
Yep, nut on. That's hot. Ding that tank, bitch. That bit done. About right, I think so. That's it, job done.